The first step in applying a soft padded bandage to the limb of a patient is to gather all necessary materials. This includes tape, tongue depressors, a gauze pad if a wound, if a wound is present, cotton roll, comforting gauze, and some sort of self-adhering bandage like vet wrap. So first, in this instance, we have a wound on the front limb of this patient on the cranial surface, distal to the elbow and cranial to the carpus. So first thing that we're going to want to do is place a non-adherent gauze pad over the wound, but make sure not to tape it down as that can cause contamination and hurt the patient's wound further. Then we're going to take two pieces of the porous tape and a tongue depressor in between and making sure that the tape is just a little bit longer than the patient's leg. You're going to place one on the inside surface of the leg, on the outside surface of the leg, sticky side down, but making sure not to put the tape over the actual wound and gauze pad itself. And you're going to stick the tongue depressor in between, which will act as stabilization later on when we go to tape the layers together. So after you have the tape and the tongue depressors, you're going to take cotton roll and sufficiently wrap the leg about two times around, starting distally to proximally. Each time you add a layer, the preceding part of that layer should overlap about 50%. Once your cotton roll is applied, you're then going to compress the cotton roll with a layer of gauze. So we're going to use the same pattern of wrapping, starting distally to proximally, going over that cotton roll, applying pressure, but making sure not to apply too much pressure as that can cause swelling and cause edema later on if the bandage is too tight. So distal to proximal, wrapping over that cotton roll only once, and once again, each preceding part of that layer should overlap 50% with the portion before. Now it's time to make sure that those two layers stay in place. So you're going to remove the tongue depressor in between the two pieces of tape, twist and reflect, and then wrap the tape over the layer of gauze, making sure to stick it down in place. Now we're ready for the last layer, which is the vet wrap or any sort of self-adhering bandage. You're going to use the same pattern as we did for the cotton roll and the gauze, and we're going to start distally to proximately, take the vet wrap and only once around the entire leg, wrap it and making sure that each preceding portion of that layer overlaps 50% with the one before. And you want to make sure throughout this whole process that each layer is applying pressure to keep the bandage secure, but not too much pressure for that may cause swelling and edema if the bandage is too tight. So another important note is to make sure that you can see the toes, at least two or three of the toes at all times to check for a peripheral edema or swelling, which indicates the bandage may be too tight. Now, after you want to make a note on the, the, tops, the top layer of the vet wrap with your initials um, over the bandage, and you want to make sure that some part of the bandage near where the wound is, you write that there's a wound there so that if another technician is going to remove the bandage, um, they don't cut right over that part. And note where, note the placement of any bandages or any wounds um, underneath the bandages in the patient's medical record.